All right, welcome back to KTN News Center, the second hour. So from uh, BBI, of course, that which was our forecast uh, as we began KTN News Center, we focus now on the 2022 elections where ODM uh, leader Raila Odinga has up to Friday to declare whether he will be making his fifth stab at the presidency on the party's ticket in next year's general election. Now, Raila, who has remained guarded on his 2022 ambitions, has to express interest in the ODM ticket in four days' time as a party. His National Elections Board de uh, deadline expires on uh, February 26th. His declaration could face him. Would uh, see him actually face Kakamega Governor Will Cliff Oparanya and his Mombasa counterpart Hassan Joho in the battle for the party's 2022 presidential ticket. Question is, will he be on the ballot? So that is a discussion this morning here on KTN News Center. With me in studio, I have Michael Agwanda, political analyst. We're also expecting the presence of our ODM uh, Party Secretary General Edwin Sifuna to join us in this discussion. But then let me begin with uh, Mr. Agwanda. Good morning and thank you for joining us here on KTN News Center. Brenda. Yeah, welcome to the program. Now, thank you. the question is whether Raila Odinga will be on the ballot come 2022 general elections for that top seat, the presidential seat. Brenda was in a function in Dewa on Saturday, and it was on our funeral, and Honorable Raila was present. And I remember Honorable Tino Gengo, uh, uh, you know, former member of parliament in Dewa, coming up and saying, Honorable Raila, why do people want you to declare, or why are people forcing you to declare? You know who you are. You've been in this race before. You know the right time when you will tell the nation whether you're going to run or not. And I take him by his word, Honorable Tieno Gengo, that indeed Raila has his timing. And that timing is not defined by calendar of saying that, oh, in the next few days, you ought to have submitted your, your application to run for the party. He's the founder of ODM. Mm -hmm. I know this bit of democracy and people asking for democracy. I know the National Election Board will open it up to uh, other aspirants, presidential aspirants, to pay one million and to subject themselves uh, for scrutiny and to subject themselves to 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 uh, you know run for for you know being a flag bearer of ODM presidential flag bearer of ODM, but Brenda. Where is it written on a stone that it cannot be turned? Mm -hmm. Where is this calendar written on a stone that it cannot be turned? But I wonder. Uh, I wonder. We're just going by the National Elections Board of the ODM parties. Um, you know, directive that candidates, people who want to be the ODM flag bearer, uh, they can the, still meet. They have until Friday, which is they the can 26th. still meet Brenda and extend the dates however they want. And for that reason, I really don't see a deadline issue here. The mm. dead, the fundamental question is: Is Honorable Raila Amoludinga going to run? And I can tell you, take this to the bank. When he decides to run, it doesn't matter how many candidates mm. will have presented their papers; it will still run because because he is the founder and he is the leader of ODM party. So are you indirectly saying that uh, even if other candidates, uh, people from the ODM party submit their papers for clearance, Raila Odinga will still be given the chance? There are many qualifications that will be needed for a flag bearer. Perhaps not indicated on a paper or on a pen, but I can tell you, one of those fundamental uh, you know, areas that you will look at as a flag bearer, a possible flag bearer, is your national outlook. Mm -hmm. Do you appeal to every corner of this country? And will people give you votes if you went to every corner of this country? Remember, there's no guarantee that if you're given a, a, you have a, a, um, you know, a presidential, uh, you're a flag presidential flag bearer of ODM party, mm -hmm. that that Raila will give you a total 100% uh, percent support. We've seen Honorable Raila in the past supporting another person that was not in his party, and that is Honorable Mwaiki Baki, mm -hmm. when he said Mwaiki Baki Tosha. Um, that could be a possibility if he wants to do that. I mean, nothing will stop him from doing that. Mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is, again, you must have the network that is needed for you to influence both government and outside the government. Mm -hmm. How about the international community network that will be needed for you to do that? Do you have the financial muscles and the resources that are needed that will enable you to uh, traverse every corner of this country? It is easier to present your papers, mm -hmm. but you 
you still need to ask your question, do I bear all this, mm -hmm. uh, you, know, um, you know, fundamental uh, needs for me to right. run for president of this country? All right, so I can present my papers. I mm -hmm. can present them, yes. But do they have, do, do I have the na international outlook? Do, do I have the national outlook? Do I have the, the, the resources? Do I appeal to every corner of this country and that about 25% of the counties will still vote me in as required by law uh, you know, to be the president of this right. country. If you don't have that, uh -huh. then it's mere presentation of papers. Two quick questions, um, Agwande. Talking about national, that national appeal that the ODM flag bearer will have, must have, when they're choosing their, their flag bearer, their candidate for uh, next year's general election, do you think some of these people who've submitted their papers or are planning to submit their papers have that national appeal? And when I'm talking about the national appeal, I'm talking about all the 47 counties. One thing that I like with opening it up to other aspirants coming in and saying, we want to be flag bearer of ODM, is the democracy in it, allowing other people to come in and to say, we want to run for this position. But one thing I have to caution the country and you, Brenda, on is people, not everybody that ran for a position, ran for a position to win. Some of them come there for uh, you know, uh, uh, personal reasons. Some of them come there for networks. Some of them come there for business opportunity. Some of them, remember if you are a serious presidential aspirant in this country, you're not just uh, rubbing shoulders with the Kenyans alone. You're rubbing shoulders with uh, prime ministers of other countries. You're rubbing shoulders with the president of other countries. You are making a huge network that might be very useful for you in the future. Mm -hmm. and so I I really don't think that all of them who will be presenting their papers, of course, what we know now is only, you know, Governor Joe that has presented his papers. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether Honorable Paranya has presented his papers. And so my, 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 my thoughts in this is not all of them will be coming to present their papers, will be mm -hmm. coming to win or right. to, to be a flag bearer, but they will have made a name that uh -huh. they actually reign for presidential, right. as a presidential bearer with so ODM party, in... which is very important. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Gwanda, let me bring in Edwin Sifuna, the ODM Secretary General, into this conversation. And Mr. Sifuna, um, uh, thank you for joining us here on KTN News Center this morning. And uh, also in this discussion, we have Michael Agwanda, political analyst. So my question is, how many people have so far submitted, you know, their documents for clearance for that top seat for the ODM party? Uh, first of all, you must know that uh, ODM is a party that has structures. Uh, the National Elections Board is a body that is charged with uh, uh, dealing with the issues of uh, candidates and applications. Uh, luckily for you, I'm here in Matungu with uh, the chair of the elections board, uh, who we spoke yesterday, and she says that uh, they are expecting to receive uh, all the applications uh, by close of uh, business on the deadline of the application period. But I am aware that uh, Governor Joe has already presented his application uh, to the national elections board. Uh, I am here also with uh, Governor Oparanya. We've been campaigning with him in the past uh, two weeks. I am aware that uh, his team was also putting together the necessary documentation. He should be submitting them as well uh, prior to the uh, close of the application period. And uh, we expect to see more, uh, including, of course, from uh, party leader, uh, Honorable Railo Dinga. Your party leader has not even declared the interest. He's, he's, he's guarded that uh, statement, whether he'll run for the top seat come next year, the 2022 general elections. Yeah, he might be guarded in public, but our expectation as a party is that uh, we must present our, our best possible talent uh, in the party, and certainly you cannot count uh, uh, presidential talent in ODM and leave out uh, the right on the Borel Odinga. What are you looking for in a candidate? What kind of a flag bearer is the ODM party looking for? I think uh, we expect that the people who present themselves for the party ticket are serious people, uh, people with gravitas, people with uh, track record in terms of uh, uh, reform, in terms of uh, what they stand for, in terms of uh, the development agenda. Uh, so the person's record must be something that is impeccable. Uh, because we are not uh, a party that uh, entertains mediocrity.
Mm -hmm. uh, even in the presidential race, you must be somebody who can be taken seriously across the country, who can be able to uh, mobilize Kenyans beyond your village. Uh, that is why we, we are talking about uh, people like uh, Joho, who has uh, a national appeal, people like Oparanya, who have national appeal. They have been uh, chairs of the uh, Council of Governors, and he has a very strong track record in terms of development here in, uh, in Kakamega. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, in Western Kenya, if you put uh, Oparanya's development record against these other gentlemen who have been in political office for over 30 years, uh, none of them can hold a candle to Oparanya. So that is the sort of seriousness with which we take the position of presidential candidate for ODM. And uh, we are hoping that you will see that seriousness reflected in the sort of candidates that uh, will present themselves for the party ticket. Mm. Thank you, Sifuna, for giving us, you know, the, taking us through the clearance of a candidate, what you're looking for. But then let me bring in Michael Agwande into this conversation. So, Mr. Agwande, do you think this whole clearance process that uh, Sifuna has taken us through, will, we will see democracy? Will ODM party members see democracy? I think... When you look at it from the inception, for ODM for the first time to invite candidates uh, who are, are not, uh, you know, they are known candidate who is Honorable Raila Molodinga, that in itself is a democracy. It's, it's a journey towards the right direction. Um, the question is, will these individuals that will be presenting their papers will amount to a position where they can literally, uh, you know, beat Raila as they most probable, uh, you know, uh, presidential candidate in ODM. Uh, that should be the underlying factor here. But I can tell you for free that no mediocrity, just like Sifuna said, mm -hmm. uh, will be required here. Again, it will be the mandate of National Election Board of ODM party to say you qualify for this position and, uh, you know, but, but just by the mere fact that we gave you this opportunity uh, did not necessarily mean that each and every one of you had to take this position as a mm -hmm. flag bearer. Mm -hmm. Only one person will be the flag bearer of ODM party. Mm -hmm. I think ODM party before has actually returned money to people that um, were paid uh, nomination fees and uh, at one point, uh, you know, an example is Kebera, where they paid nomination fee and, and when they realized that they only needed one credible individual that they could sail through with and clinch that position, they decided, well, even if it's a matter of the money that you gave, mm -hmm. we can give it to you back. I'm not saying they will do that in this scenario, but all I'm saying is the decision still remains with National Election Board mm -hmm. and they will decide who becomes a flag bearer of ODM party. Right. I don't see anybody give it I mean take this to the bank if Honorable Raila Molodinga decides to run I don't see anybody with impeccable credibility mm -hmm. with the history with the network with the financial resources and with everything that it takes and the appeal the political appeal in, in fact, that I can want, beat Honorable Raila Molodinga. In fact I wonder case. I was about to ask Sifuna the same question yes Sifuna you're saying that um, uh, the ODM party will be looking at a person, one of the clearings will be a person, you don't want a person who has that, that national appeal. But then let's look at this. There's so many questions about uh, the exercise, whether it will be an exercise in futility, because the ODM party has been seen as Raila Odinga, and Raila Odinga has also been, say, has been seen as the ODM party. Yeah, we are not responsible for the perception out there uh, because uh, for us as a party, we insist on uh, process. Uh, even when the Supreme Court was throwing out the elections of the 2017 election, uh, they said that the process is as important as the result. Uh, we are the only party that insists on process and uh, our uh, party nomination and elections rules provide that you cannot just wake up one day and decide that oh, Sifuna is going to be the candidate. No, there has to be process and uh, you must know that uh, many of these members have invested heavily in building this political party. Uh, they need at the very minimum that their party will give them an opportunity for them to also uh, put forward their case as to why they think they are the best uh, possible candidate. That Raila Odinga that you speak about is somebody who has demonstrated in the past that it doesn't have to be him. Uh, when he stood up and said Kibaki Tosha, it's not as if Raila Odinga did not uh, want to be president then. Uh, so it is possible, uh, uh, Brenda, that even when we come to the uh, party nomination, uh, Raila Odinga might uh, decide that uh, uh, because we are a team, in ODM, that the best formation for us to, uh, to front uh, does not necessarily have to be him. I want to add on something that Gwanda said, that in fact the party's nomination and elections rules uh, provide for various way of, uh, ways of identifying uh, the party's candidate. And that 
uh, includes a consensus. It doesn't have to be uh, universal suffrage. Of course, there's a provision for consensus. There's provision for a delegate system to nominate the candidate. And all these things uh, are things that uh, we follow as a party so that we result in a decision that will unify the entire party. So we really don't care what uh, these other ragtag uh, uh, political parties try to do. But for us as ODM, we will insist on procedure, and it doesn't matter the sort of uh, uh, attitude that we meet out there in the public. We will do what is right by the constitution of the party and the rules and nomination. But, uh, 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 but, but then, Sifuna, yeah. let, let's, let's look at this. You know, um, uh, Mombasa Governor Hassan Ali Joho um, uh, is on record saying that it is a high time that the ODM party leader, Raila Odinga, returned that favor because for the several times... Odinga has, uh, you know, decided to run for presidency. The coast region has supported him. So they expect him to do the same this time round. Yeah, and uh, he has a valid argument. And I'm telling you that uh, because one of the ways in which we can decide on the candidate is uh, consensus, uh, I am sure that uh, when the time comes, Governor Joe will present his case as strongly as is presented uh, uh, in public before the National Executive Committee of the party and before the National Elections Board. And uh, a decision will be reached uh, that will leave the party united, that everyone will agree that it is the best decision going forward. So, of course, wanasema kwa kiswahili kila muamba ngomba uvutia pandewake. So you expect that uh, uh, Joho in his uh, uh, pitch to be the presidential candidate for the party will pull strongly towards his side and as I've told you others including uh, Governor Oparanya will also be pulling towards his side by uh, pitching his development record in Kakamega. He has been uh, the, the top governor in the country for a long time and everybody uh, accepts that uh, indeed his uh, development record is impeccable. Right, and, and Agwanda, let's uh, have this discussion about um, you know, Raila Odinga saying that he will not handle, uh, hand over that mantle of political support for the presidency to his former NASA brigade. I, it, it, that's a very dicey issue there. Um, you can see a political formation that is coming up between Honorable Kalonzo Msioka, Honorable Mdavadi, and uh, Wetangula on the other side. And of course, you're seeing uh, Honorable Gideon Moy also joining that collusion there. Um, uh, what I can say, Brenda, is uh, it's still too early for this collision. Uh, remember that sometimes you might look at it and say, well, these people are, are coalescing among themselves to bring up a, form, a, com, a formidable uh, you know, collision that might take over the next government. But I can tell you for free, what Raila Molodinga will say in this setup collision mm -hmm. will trigger the break up of this collision or the formation of completely new collision. What Honorable Uru Kenyatta is going to say in some of this collision might also trigger the breakout of this collision or might bring a completely new formation of other collision. I don't think these are the final collisions we're seeing in this country. I think there will be more uh, you know, collusion, there will be more alliances, political alliances, owing to the next general election. Mm -hmm. This has just begun, but the formidable one, the one that will carry the day, mm -hmm. are yet to come. Remember right. that Honorable Raila has actually been very inclusive in the past. Uh, give it or take it, um, you know, he's involved other political leaders in his camp, and there is no, uh, you know, guarantee that, um, that, that, that he's, he's going to go it alone. I don't think he's a guy who wants to work as a lone ranger all the time, mm -hmm. you know, in most cases, but he's always embrace this other politician. We've seen him work with Kalonzo, we've seen him work with Ovetangula, we've seen him work with Msalia Mdavadi, but we also know that he has a personal relationship with Dr. Mkisa Kituwa, Kitui, who has just come into the country. So there's a right. possibility of other new alliances coming mm -hmm. in. But for now, I think the alliances, the alliance that everybody's looking at is between Honorable Raila Molotinga mm -hmm. and President Uhuru Kenyatta. All right. Whether that is going to continue all the way to general election, time is yet to reveal. But right. I don't think it's limited to whom he wants to work with and to whom he will carry the day with right. when we are going for a 2022 presidential election. All right, so gentlemen, do stay with me. I need to take a short commercial break. But when we come back, we'll continue having this discussion with Michael Agwanda, a political analyst, and also the ODM Secretary General Edwin Sifuna joining us here on KTN News Center for this discussion about the ODM. DM flag bearer for the uh, top seat that is the presidency come the general election 2022.